When I first started practicing yoga, it was just for the physical aspects. I was running a lot, I was injured most of the time, and so I wanted something that would stretch me out and help me feel a little bit better in my body so I could get back to running some more. I was that person in yoga class that actually would leave during Shavasana because I didn't wanna lay on the mat and waste 10 minutes. I could go and run a whole nother mile and a half on the treadmill, legit, I actually did that. I was that person, sorry to that teacher. But I found that that limited me just to my physical body. I wasn't using it off the mat. I would feel really good when I go to practice and I did eventually start staying through Shavasana and I would feel a lot more calm and peaceful. But as soon as I hit the world, it was like, bam, I was back in the stress all over again. But when I discovered Ayurveda many years after I started practicing yoga, I found that that was how I would take my yoga feelings and emotions and the strides I was making while I was on my mat off my mat. My teacher would always say, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And I always wondered, well, yeah, but how do I do yoga when I'm not doing yoga? Not realizing that yoga wasn't just moving my body. Yoga was everything about my mind and about my heart and about how I was living. But I didn't know how to make that happen until I found Ayurveda. And then I started making changes so that yoga and Ayurveda could work together to create a whole lifestyle that changed who I was from the moment that my feet hit the ground in the morning until I went to sleep at night. From how I interacted with my family, how I dealt with my kids, it changed the way that I saw other people in my life, which really helped me to understand that people are what matters. The connection that we have with other people is what matters. The love that we feel for one another is what matters. And that you don't even have to know somebody well to feel that love for them. Because when we say namaste at the end of a yoga practice or at the end of a meditation, it truly means the divinity in me sees the divinity in you. But it took me having my yoga practice and my Ayurveda practice merge and become one practice for me to see that and to really live that. And that has made all the difference in the world.